Salute crap. It's Tuesday, August 20th. I'm JP Mistanza, and this is Puket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Let's start with our top story. Starting this Sunday, a 400 meter long section of the Patong beachfront will be closed from Bangla Road to Sawadirak Road each day from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. for a whole month. The closures until September 30th are to make sure workers can continue to install the power and communications cables underground along the beach road, the beachfront road in Patong, with all vehicles forced to turn onto Bangla Road instead. The works will see a trench excavated under the road leaving footpaths available for pedestrians to walk along while the work is carried out. Mayor Chalum Lakepsap says that phase one of the project to place the telecommunication cables underground is now completely done, which was from Sawadirak Road to Loma Circle. This is now phase two, which is the 400 meter section from Bangla to Sawadirak Road. The work is being carried out under a 228 million baht contract with a deadline of March 5th next year. No trees will be cut down on the beachfront during the project, according to officials. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Bangkok MP Sira Janjaka is asking Phuket officials and police why no progress has been made in the investigation of the Peaks Residences condo project at Katanoi, which stands accused of being built on protected forest land. Late last week, Mr. Sira, an MP with the military-aligned Palang Prachara party, went public with claims that he had received death threats over the Phuket condo project, and on Sunday, he joined a protest with local residents at Katanoi over the project, while also meeting with senior local police over the lack of progress in the investigation. The disputed project is reportedly a 416-unit condo project at Katanoi that overlooks the sea, and back in March, a delegation from Bangkok, including military officers, inspected the site at the request of Prime Minister Prayu Chanocha. Back in August 2017, the Regional Administrative Court ruled that the land document, the North Shore 3 Corps that the condo developer had, was invalid and the land was protected forest land. An appeal is currently being disputed with the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, earlier this week, Mr. Sira spoke at Phuket Provincial Hall saying no progress has been made in the investigation into the project, but construction at the site has been temporarily halted. For more on this story, visit thepuketnews.com. The owner of a scrap metal shop has been arrested for the, for the theft of rail track screws and base plates that caused a passenger train derailment in Pechaburi province yesterday, blocking the main southern line for 12 hours. The derailment of the train number 255, which happened en route from Tonburi to Chumpon, was caused by missing screws and plates used to fasten the rails to the sleepers, and six carriages of the train jumped the tracks yesterday around noon between Waisai Tai and Hua Hin stations. Luckily, no injuries were reported, but all rail services between Bangkok and the south were suspended until midnight of last night. A total of 168 rail fastening screws and 40 base plates were, were stolen according to the State Railway of Thailand, which led to the derailment that caused 340 sleepers to be damaged over a distance of 342 meters. Police already have one man in custody charging him with collusion in theft and receiving stolen property. That man is Supachai Patsri, a scrap metal shop owner who told police in their investigation that a person brought the items to a shop for sale several days ago, but he didn't ask for ID. Supachai is denying all the charges. Puget Extra will be right back after this. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. 
A male dugong estimated to be about 25 years old found washed floating just offshore from Tonsai Beach in Krabi over the weekend. Well, has been brought to the Phuket Marine Biological Center, the PMBC, in the hopes of determining the cause of death. The dugong was found in the waters on the west side of Rayleigh Beach Peninsula in Aonang, and vets explained that the dugong, which is about 2.6 meters in length, it was estimated to be about 25 years old. Experts pointed out that the male dugong was the 16th to be found dead along the Andaman coast just this year, with the toll standing as two in Pengya, eight in Trang, five in Krabi, and one in Satun. Meanwhile, Marianne, the eight-month-old dugon that died on Saturday after months of care, will have her remains preserved and put on display at the Phuket Aquarium operated by the PNBC for educational purposes, according to the Department of Marine and Coastal Resources. Premchai Karnasuta, the construction tycoon who was caught poaching protected wildlife in a forest reserve in February of last year, he's been sentenced to six more months in prison for illegal possession of guns. Premchai, the president of the Italian Thai Development PLC, was found back in February 4th of last year with the carcasses of, black, of a rare black leopard, among other protected animals, along with firearms. And while he was previously sentenced to two years and four months for poaching and trying to bribe a park ranger, he was back in court today for the ruling in his gun possession case. The criminal court handed their ruling today and while his lawyer filed a request proposing to enter the monkhood for 15 days, donating 3 million baht to charity and also swearing to never use guns ever again in exchange for a lighter sentence, the court denied the request and handed down their six-month prison sentence. This specific case stemmed from the unauthorized rifles, musket, and ammunition that was found at his Bangkok residence during a raid by authorities just days after he was arrested at the Tung Yai Naresuan Wildlife Sanctuary in Kanchanaburi Province last year. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, Give us a like on the Puka News page. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Pukets.